How we doing, everybody? Mazzy back with you. I uh, do an update here. Be update number two on the um, 32 Ford little street ride thing we're doing here. I'll spin that around in a second and show you what I got. I'm just going to put it back on for the day and uh, start back on again tomorrow. Uh, I got a hold of uh, Mate at uh, Gravity Paints and uh, he said my paints will be shipped out today for the truck. So we'll be able to get back on that. Uh, as soon as that paint gets here, but uh, we should have this one Probably done by the time that gets here. It's moving along pretty good I'm having a little trouble with the, the fuel tank on this one getting it painted the way I want so I may just go ahead and bare metal foil it and Cover it that way it uh, well, I put the AK over it. It kind of reacted. I don't know if I had a fingerprint or some oil off my finger on there or something. Um, it reacted on on the fuel tank on the back, which on this car does show. So uh, I tried sanding it off, which should sand it okay. But then when I, I just went back and painted it black because I had sprayed the AK right over top of the uh, clear coat. And so, well, I'll just go ahead and paint it black. Maybe I'll cover up some of the. Um, little crinkly stuff after I sanded on it and it, it did somewhat but then when I put the AK back on it it still came back came back through so I may just uh let's hear listen to some cats out here they're out there squalling um I may just go ahead and bare metal foil that and um uh, be done with it that way because I, I do like the looks of it being um, well, I had done in uh, stainless steel. I didn't really want to chrome, but I have, I don't know, like eight different kinds of barrel foil, I think, something like that. But if they're even still good, I haven't used it in years. So let me spin you around here and show you what I've got. And uh, I'll just try to make it as short as possible. So let me give you a little ride here. And uh, let me see my gloves. So here's the the uh, car from the top, and we're probably not. Uh, there we go. And the car's not sitting right, but there's the car from the top. <clears throat> you can see we switched the paint over to. Um, we went from that uh, black cherry stuff and went over to this Porsche 911 mint green. This is a bottle I picked up randomly when I made my first order of Gravity Paints. So I just went to that and still doing with the cream. The same cream color. Uh, you can still you can see here I have the... Uh, I'll probably have to zoom it or focus it here. I have the heads on the motor done with the uh, cream so that looks pretty good and uh, of course it has the front end you can kind of see it a little bit it is done with the cream and I'll take it apart here in a second and show you all the bits and pieces but uh, so that's what it kind of looks like from the top and then this will be our our uh, stance and again, I see aftermarket rims, the rims and tires are still on it, so that looks pretty good. Now I have put the tubs in and the firewall on, but I've not done any sanding on panel lines or <clears throat> nothing like that. Sorry guys, the allergies here in Florida are just, they're killing everybody. They're just, all oh, they're this right now. So we'll get you back up here and uh, I'll start taking some parts pieces apart so uh, we'll pull the motor out and so we have the the transmission done in steel I'm not sure why it's not uh, wanting to focus on that 
There we go. So the transmission is done seal and it's done some little detail work there. Uh, the heads are done, the um, the cream color, the little bowl heads are chromed. I chromed the uh, intake, then the carburetors. And that's a mixture of two different colors on the carburetors. I used to, I like to mix the colors. Uh, the same with the uh, generator. That's two different colors of AK. Both those are AK. AK Extreme. I mixed two colors. I spray one down and I missed another color over it. And then the little pulleys. I went in and sprayed a whole assembly with, uh, I think that's copper. And then just painted a belt. So I didn't put my own belts on this one. Which I could have pretty easy because it it actually came a nice little bracket to mount the uh, generator. And of course all the pulleys had their own mount. So this one would have been a perfect candidate for my little rubber band pulley or belt. But I just didn't do it. And of course we have the rubber mounts uh, painted. And we still have some more work to do on it. The uh, distributor which is kind of odd comes straight out of the front. I guess probably the only one I've ever seen like that, but it comes straight out of the front. So we're running that through behind the behind the belt, or nose through that way. And I've been pulling. I put these little the boots in. Now I'll focus again. Get you back about I guess drop my arms. I put the boots in, and uh, then the wires won't fit. This is some I got from Freddie over at H&M Model Shop. One of his distributors that he built. And he sent the little boot material with it. And I can't get the the wires to fit the boot material. It won't go in. So I'd already pre-drilled the heads and put the boot material in. But now I can't get the, the wires to go in the, in the boot material. I even took my drill bit and drilled them out. And it still closes back up. They won't, they won't go in. So I've been going along and pulling them back out. You can see over here where I've been taking them back out. And uh, I'll have to find something else to put in there. So I'll find something uh, to uh, put in there. Then we have the uh, transmission pan done with the cream. We'll detail that up a little bit more. Do the bolt heads around there and whatnot. So we have that. And then we have the air cleaners that will go on the, the carburetors. They'll be cream. We'll have a little chrome nut on top. So that should look pretty good. And uh, here's the shocks. Get you back and focus here. The shocks for the, the front end here. And I guess that's probably going to spread these front tires. When you get them on, I'm hoping it'll spread them front tires back apart. Because they want to lean in. If not, I'll have to do something. Because that way the front suspension is made, it, it just wants to pull together. So I'm really hoping this is what spreads it back apart. And uh, but I'm going to take the bracket here off and then make my own shock, which this one over here broke off to begin with. So the shock is already off and gone from that one. So I'll take this one off, uh, make my own shock and put it on there, and then just use the bracket for that. And then here's the <clears throat> front end. Well, here's the rims, or the rims and tires. You can see that from here. Got a little white lettering. I do that with a toothpick, the white lettering. Done the chrome and then the nuts with a Molotov pin. And then the, uh, all the rotor and the caliper down in there, the pan dab. Then, like I said, the front end is painted with a cream. I painted the springs in a steel. And, of course, the other side is the exact same. But you can see, looking at it this way, that the front end does pull, pull in a little bit. And I want it to come back out, back out level. So we'll have to work on that somehow. And then the body is just... For right now, just the uh, the body. I did get it closed up where there's no gap. 
left here. There was a a hole, so I got that closed up. We got the body shrunk in there. Got these fitted real nice. They're ready to go. So the body just needs some work. The rear end has its, of course, in the in the cream and uh, little rubber, the little, I guess, airbags are painted black. The same with the tires and rims are done the same way. Same with the rotors and calipers, they're done the same way. And again, I'm gonna make my own shocks to go in there. So that should be nice. And then here's the chassis. You can see it's done with the, the green the green paint like we talked about. And then here's the the fuel tank I was talking about. If you can see the crinkle that I was talking about where the AK crinkled up on me. So I may just go ahead and get some bare metal foil out and just wrap that and trim it. And it wraps right around onto the the piece that shows on top. And it even started pulling off when I took my uh, silly putty off which is very unusual. It started peeling in here on top. So and I may just paint the fuel neck a different a little bit of a different color. Paint the fuel neck. So uh, and then we have the exhaust done with stainless steel and the uh, glass packs painted in the red. So those are ready to go on. I'll probably black out the insides because they're already right deep in a little bit, so I'll black that a little bit with some that's make a like jet exhaust or something. Uh, I believe it is. I'll put it in there. And there's the other one. So that's all ready. So I believe that's all I've got to show you for right now, guys. Um, so I'll go ahead and cut this one off for now. But uh, thanks for watching. And as soon as I get some more done, I'll be sure to come back and show you. So thanks for now. Stay tuned. And we'll be back. Bye-bye.